Mm. Oh, excuse me. You caught me drinking. <laughs> anyway, this is David Sherry. More on some tips that I find that are helpful. Uh, one of the things that I have uh, noticed is, is that when it comes to uh, programming, and in this case we're looking at PHP, is that when it comes to file operations, the, one of the things that's pretty hard to find on the internet and uh, in textbooks and stuff, and believe me, I got all that crap. I mean, excuse my language, I'm sorry. Forgive me, though. Um, is that um, it's prepending to a file. Okay? You know, a lot of times when we write to a file, you know, uh, the most common method is append, or you just overwrite the whole file. And by the way, before I forget, when you write to a file and you um, uh, or create a file and there's no data in the file when you create it, it can cause an error in a file read operation. Okay? And so, you know, the best thing to do is when you create a file is to create it with either um, unreadable, you know, unreadable um, text of some sort or to put something in there uh, that it can read so don't create an error otherwise you have to you know, basically write a special error function to prevent an error. But we're not going to work on that part there. What we're looking at is basically prepending to a file. And the reason this is important is because, you know, let's say that you're doing um, uh, comments in a text file and you want to get the last comment put in and make it visible to the the viewer okay so that you want to prepend to the file and so this is why I'm doing this this little tip on prepending to a file so let's go ahead and go to prepending a file and I'll show you my little tip I'm not a great teacher but it, the tip is there and you see the code you can stop the video and copy the code you know type it out and you'll have what you need to be able to pretend for a file if you're a new programmer in learning. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, here we are on a prepending to a file with PHP. Now there are two important functions in order to accomplish this that I'm going to use. And so in PHP there are built-in functions, they're not user-made functions, okay, it's called file get contents and then the other one as you see it file get contents so right here if you look down here if you very I have it highlighted in red file get contents so it's getting the contents of this file name now the file name is my file.html okay so what when we're gonna prepend to a file what we're gonna prepend to the file is I love this right here okay all right, so I have a variable declaration here, file name. All right, the value of that variable declaration is my file dot html. Okay, so the first function that is a built-in function within PHP is what I'm going to use. Okay, which is not a user-made function. Now the difference between a built-in function and a user-made function. Is a user made function is a function that you as, as the programmer or a person who scripts in a web programming language. PHP is not technically a, a programming language, it's actually a scripting language. Programming languages operate more on a system level. Okay? Alright, so anyway, you know, we'll call you know a, you know it's a scripting language, but we, we use the term programming, it's just, there's no other way around it. So anyway. I have a variable declaration here, the file name, and the value of that variable declaration is my file.html. Okay, so that's the main file, the only file that I'm interested in here. All right, and, and um, so what we want to do is we want to first get the contents of that file. Okay, so anyway, and then what I want to pin to that file, pre-pin to the file, I mean put at the very beginning of the file, is I love this. Okay, so like if you're looking at, let's say, a text file, a HTML file, okay, when you're programming a text file, when you create a text file on your computer, you, you create a file name, let's say, my house, my home, my car, my friends, and whatever you want to put in that text file, okay, and then and it's on a text file, it would have an extension, which would begin with a 
after the name with a dot and then txt. Okay, so here, but it's a HTML file, which is a web document. Okay, so it would, and I'm calling it myfile.html. Okay, so now let's go on beyond the uh, variable declaration and defining the variable, which is what I have here. Okay, now then the next thing is I have pre pinned content. Okay, so I made it here variable decoration here. Now what I want to do is add the value in the, to that variable decoration, which is I love this. Okay, forgive me, this cursor's not working right. All right, now we're going to go into the part of file get contents. As, as, as I noted, file get contents is a built-in function within PHP, which has thousands of functions for different things you want to do, even reading directories, uh, uh, file operations, getting processes on your computer. You can do quite a lot with it. All right. So anyway, you have um, uh, uh, variable decoration here, file. Okay. And now I'm going to use a PHP function file get contents. All right, and the, the, you see these little brackets? Within that brackets is the file name I'm getting. And so the, I'll have file name. Okay. All right, so file get contents of file name, which will be this file right here. So that I'm, this fun, I'm, what I'm basically doing here is I'm defining the variable. Then I'm uh, 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 aliasing it to file get contents which is a PHP function, all right, and then the name of the file I want to get using the PHP uh, uh, file get contents function is going to be in this variable name right here, which is file name, which, you know, I showed you earlier is my file.html, okay? So this is the invocation right here of this function, okay? Now the next thing I want to do, okay, is uh, set up and prepare for file put contents. Okay. So anyway, so I have content here. Okay. Then equals. All right. Prepared content. Prepend content. I'm sorry, which is right here, and then the name of the file. All right. All right. Now what? The reason I'm doing this is I'm setting it up, you know, for file put contents down here, as I said earlier, the, the second built-in PHP function. All right. So anyway, so I have I have the prepend content right here, which goes on top of the file, and then you have the actual file itself that was grabbed by the invocation of file get contents up here. Okay. And then what I'll do is after having done all this at that moment. At that very moment, okay, the content in the original file, all right, will have prepended to it. In other words, put at the very top of the file, the name, I mean, the value of the prepend content, all right. And so now I'm going to put it into the file itself. And so now I'm going to use file put contents, and it requires two parameters, okay. All right, and the two parameters are the file name and the content, all right, and what I'm using here. So this is how you prepend to a file. Okay, now I'll give you an example output. Okay, now this is like I said is in my database. Okay, uh, helps me keep track of things. And plus, by doing these videos, there's an advantage. It helps to remind me, you know, that I do have it in my database if I'm looking at my videos in the future. So it kind of helps me and helps you too at the same time. All right. Now here's the example output right here. Okay, now this is the original file. All right, pre pinned content file with PHP using file get contents and PHP uh, uh, and, and file put contents. Okay, so actually what you're doing is you're seeing like on my, my web server, okay, the actual output of that code. All right, now if you want to view the contents of the file, all right, and test the, if the code works, is I've created a link right here. View test pre pin file. So now I'm going to go ahead and do that. All right. Now, if you see here, I have uh, one, two, three, four, five lines within that file. Okay. Now, if I go back here and, and I want to add another line to see if it's working, I just go back here. All right. And then I refresh the page. Okay, and so I said I had five, right? 
and let's go back and take a look. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so now I have pre-pinned, all right, and, and so pre-pinned means, in other words, the line that I, I have in there originally is right here. All right, see there? It's right there. And so I can refresh the page. Now, if you're going to see this, this is actually live. This is code in live operation testing and how I do things when I test. So let's see how many times, how many more lines I can put. All right, watch this. Now I'm refreshing it a lot, right? Okay, now I'm going to go back. Right. Let me get rid of this page here. Okay, because, you know, um, the link opens up, you know, a new web page every time I do it. You know, that's why I programmed it. Okay, now watch here. Okay, see there. See there, the more I get. Go back again, refresh again. See, a lot, lot more. Okay. But here you can't really tell by what I'm showing you that's actually put at the top of the file. Okay. So let me do a little something here. I'm going to go to my directories just to show you a difference in how things work. All right. Okay. Now I'm going to edit the code all right, in my file to show you that it actually works. Okay, so anyway, we uh, try to find out prepend a file. This is the one I'm looking here on my computer. All right, so oops. Let me make sure that I close out all text files because I don't want to run any other text file. Okay, now this is the actual code in the file itself. Okay, prepend to the file. All right, this is on my computer right here. All right, and now what I'm going to do is edit the code live. So you're watching me edit the code live on my, my, my computer. Okay. Now, if you noticed earlier, I said, I love this. Okay. I'm going to change that. I'm going to write down Howard. All right. Goes to school. And then, well, we have in the COVID problem, oops, there is COVID. All right. An exclamation mark. Now, you see, I, I've, I've changed the code live. Okay. Now, let's see what happens. I'm saving the file. I'll go back here. All right. And uh, try to find the right one. I want to refresh this. I'm going to have to close out a window and redo it because I have something in the right window. All right, now look. Here, see up here? I've, I've refreshed it three times. So I've got Howard goes to school. Oops, there's COVID. So now you can see it's um, pre pending to the file, it's putting it on the very top of the file. Okay. So now you have a good example, all right, of how my code works and what it's doing, okay, um, to prepend a file to the um, website, okay. So that's, that's, you know, the actual operation and test, okay. So back to where I'm at here, so I can close it out and you can see the code within my database, okay. The purpose of this little tutorial is to leave you the code on how to pre-pin right to the beginning of the file. And this can be a very handy uh, trick or a tool. You won't find this code easily on the net, okay? Um, you'll have to do a lot, a lot of searching. So I'll put it here to help you so you can find how to pre-pin to a file because there's not a built-in function. So in reality, all right, what I basically did, this does not really constitute a function, you know, of a um, what I would call a uh, user made function. I did not. I did not have a user made function here. But what I did is I used uh, built in PHP functions. All right, to create a scripting text. All right, without the without using 
a user made function to prepend a file. And so the, the two things that I did is I used PHP's file get contents and PHP's file put contents. And I pretty well explained it to you. Now, like all scripting languages, you need an opening and closing tag. PHP has an opening and closing tag, which is right here. All right, and then the closing tag for PHP is right here. Okay, and and so the code to accomplish this is all right here. Now I like using variable names rather than coding text and stuff like that. Okay, and it, because it makes it easier, and uh, you know I could get into explaining that later on. Okay, but this is my code by David Sherry uh, on prepin content to file with PHP using file get contents, file put contents. I hope you like my code. I hope you like my tip. Hope it's useful to you. Um, if you're learning and want to become a programmer, this is an excellent um, tip to keep. All my tips are very important and can be very useful to you as a new programmer or even as an old programmer who has code out his derriere for lack of words, you know. Um, so anyway, I'll just uh, shut up and let it sit like that and wish you a good day and be blessed and hope you enjoy my programming tips.